Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I just had a quick message. I'm gonna shut them down real quick. Um, come through. I just finished. Hey, buddy. I just finished um Sil's contract, and it ended on um the timestamp. Okay, so I'm back to like numerology. Um, that might. Well, never went away, but numerology might help you guys this week um, to break down certain things. If you're listening to a video that might resonate, and I've said this plenty of times in the past, go ahead and Google that number. Um, so, yeah, numerology is, is not new to me. It, it's actually started me in a tarot, too. I think numerology is kick-ass. So... <sighs> Clearly pay attention to that. I, I do want to do a quick thing for you. I'm not sure, but on, on quite what I want to do, nor am I prepared, but I came on anyway to talk about some things. Um, I literally just screenshotted this. And, and oh, so then when I went to go upload the video, um, it's for Patreon. It's 44 minutes long and 33 seconds is what I saw. But as it's uploading, it says, you know, 44, 34. Regardless, um, that number, the four and the three combination, as you look at your home and your lifestyle, think of ways to uplift you and bring more positive energies to you and yourself. Use your creativity, reorganize, restructure, rejuvenate, okay? Just life in general. Um, and what I'm what I'm getting from that, the strong message there, is more or less um, more positive thoughts than negative thoughts, really. Um, you know, what can you do to uplift your home. Well, you know, I know the allergies are bad with some of you right now, but you know, windows are always opening your windows, lighting candles, sage, whatever, you know, even incense, um, what you can tolerate. Um, you know, adding flowers, incorporating things, redecorate, um, you know, move your furniture around, vacuum undo it for those who do that. And, or you think you don't have the space, you know, just play with it. Um, picture frames, rearrange those, you know, take one picture that's on that wall, put it on the other wall, um, you know, add some plants into the equation. Anything to, because the message I literally got was more or less your surroundings, okay? Um, because I don't know if you got a big cloud over the house, the apartment, you know, um, but positivity, anything to like uplift you, whether it's, you know, have a cookout or have friends over, um, is a big message for you this week. Guys, I woke up today. Um, the energy was, was, was so heavy. Um, I, I didn't even get like nervous, but I was like, oh my gosh, are my eyes swollen? Are, you know, is, did I not get enough sleep or did I, you know, am I catching up for the weekends? I, my body just needed rest. I, I don't think it's any of the of the above, okay? Um, the energy in, in is just a lot right now. And during Patreon, it was like I was going through an ascension. Like, it was just, I got dizzy right away. I got um, all sorts of, of things. And I, I normally don't feel, I mean, I feel energy. But the energy that I felt, it, see, it's almost like confusing the way I'm explaining it to you. The energy that I felt is different than, than yesterday's energy. Yesterday's energy was more aggressive. Um, this was heavy, but not heavy in a way, emotional heavy for me anyway. Um, it, it could have been, but then, you know, as the day progressed, I was perfectly fine because I'm not going to lie. When I woke up, I was like, this feels like energy, but my face was swollen, not my face. I thought my eyes were swollen. They really weren't like I had a hard time opening them. It, it was energy and I'm not going to lie. I got a little nervous. I'm like, cause what I'm feeling is, is incredibly, um, overwhelming and it was so heavy um and I was just so thankful that it subsided within a half hour because that's the type of energy where it's like oh hell no okay so I don't know what that was about if it's just was the atmosphere what was in the air um I, I, I can't even begin to tell you okay so and some people are extremely sensitive to energy and I, I definitely am but this was completely different, so I guess the message there would be do not panic. Um, no matter what you're feeling, will subside. Um, Soul's contract was great this week. Um, lots of details there. Um, as in regards to the read yesterday and my feistiness and coming live and teaching and preaching and 
you know, you know, taking your own power back, I think is good. But as readers, when, you know, you see our energy like that, that, that just, it is the energy. Um, I do feel like there's some confusion, but again, when the seven of cups is coming out, it's energy and confusion is caused by energy, your own mental or emotional well-being. You know, it's, it's your energy. It's how you're vibing. So I, I feel like it's confusing, but it's not confusing. Like it's, it's energy. If you're going to let the energy get the best of you, then, then you are. So, I mean, I really don't know how else to explain it. So just be careful. Try to be again, more positive than anything. And those messages with all the fours and the threes it's it's really your environment right now. If you got wildflowers in the backyard, pick them. If you got little kids and, you know, have them gather dandelions, guys. I don't know what to say, you know. Um, I know it seems so it's tiny and molecule, but, like, those things help. How do you know there's not something within that one flower that most people call it a weed, okay, not even a wildflower, but how do you know it's just not the color that can instantly change your vibration, you know? So be, be aware of that. Cause I was all about your lifestyle. So I don't, I don't think you need to sit down and maybe some of you need to reflect. Okay. But a majority of you is just getting the stagnant energy out of the house, apartment, condo, whatever you live in. Um, um, you know, um, how many times are you going to say that, Court? I just got confused again. Sidetracks. Yes, some of you need to reevaluate, you know, what type of energies are you allowing in your, in your house? What are you allowing? You know, um, why why are you settling for this? The message is yesterday in the, in the read. Um, literally, I just opened my eyes, oh my goodness, was um, received and settle okay don't ask me why i want to work off of those but i got a message so someone might be settling okay and if that's what they choose to do that that's what they choose to do you could have received a message that somebody was not moving or this is you you know staying stagnant um Some people are choosing to move forward and others are not. I, I will remind you guys, this is tough, okay? Because this is like knowing. This is like having the inner knowing but still not moving forward. And, you know, a good example, um, you know, some people just have a really tough time with change, especially in the midst of this energy. It's a transformation. You have no choice. So, you know, you should try to take my advice when it comes to even dandelions because it's the little things that are going to help you. Um, so I don't know if you went and spoke with somebody, somebody went and spoke with you and you still decided not to budge. Okay. I will tell you when you settle, you're not only bringing down yourself, you are bringing down those around you because nobody is growing. If you have a family, none of this dynamic will grow. Like if I was to settle and do nothing with my life, what do you think my kids are going to do? If I was going to settle and, and, and stay in a situation because it was more comfortable for my kids, your kids are not going to grow. Especially if you're already in a situation, you know, you're supposed to be out of. So I, I hope that makes sense. I am not trying to say that as an insult. I'm telling you how energy works. You get the message, you good, you go, you know, you like, phew. And then other things around you can change and evolve. If you settle, nothing evolves. And that's facts. And it's like, you feel like you're doing the right thing, but it's not this. That's not the right thing. Not growing, not evolving and doing things that are comfortable for your children or are comfortable for you. Because I'm looking at a teddy bear, okay? So this is either your inner child or you're doing something for your children. It, it's, it's, but that won't help. You settling, you ask anybody in this world, when you settle, you do not grow. Nothing. Nothing evolves. So why would you think that's a good idea? When you have a higher message knowing that there's something else for you. And and nobody can change this for anybody. Not a you, not a best friend, not a parent, not a lover, nobody. This is something you got to do for yourself. 
because this is something you know. You have that inner knowing. It's like your gut. But yet you're choosing to do this. So I'm just trying to help you guys out for those who are still in that type of energy because, yeah, it's more comfortable for everybody else. But the, you know what that means too? That's like you not wanting to own your own shit or your own judgment. Like you don't want other people to judge you for the moves you're about to make. Because if you're getting a higher message and you want to follow your intuition, that means other people won't like it if you're deciding to settle. Okay. So this is the energy of like, this is a pause and it is, it's necessary. Um, you could have took your own pause. Okay. I, you could be working with the energy. It could be confusing, but I, I I don't think the pause is is necessary like that for some of you because this is a message you already know and received. This is like the high priestess coming out. Like you 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 know, it's destined, you get it, it's it is what it is. Um if I was to choose, like for example, um and, and not even a karmic situation in general. Like if I know my work's not working out good, I'm not making money, but I'm helping other people, well, I know that's not practical. I, I learned that years ago. You know, I got the message, it's not working. You know, but I, cho I still choose to settle because it's still paying the bills. But nothing else grows. And eventually that will crash. Okay. If it was, for example, if it was something like that going down in your life. Um, others of you, I'm seeing a strong teddy bear. So you either have children involved or it's your own inner child that needs to heal. And you're not moving forward because of how something went down in your past and it didn't work out for your parents and you just think the best decision is to just, you know, as long as I'm there for my kids or I'm there for this, you know, that's all that really matters. And to me, it's, it's kind of sad. When you, when you evolve and you have kids, your kids become better people. It gives them an outlet. You can be their guiding light. Like, I know this was hard to go through this, but a year from now, I, I look back, I can look at my mom, I can look at my dad and be like, wow, what a, what a, like, thank God they made that type of move or they made that decision because I am in a whole new place. And, and how do you know one of your kids um, a, a year from now won't be like, well, I never would have done this or we would have never hashed something out or nothing, you know, because nothing hashes out and nothing grows if you settle. I mean, I can't express that enough. You can't fix jack shit. So it has to come from the inner child and uh, something that happened with your parents, the way you were raised. It, it's, it's way bigger than just your current situation. But you know better. You already got the message to move forward, right? So... Again, I, I don't know why what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, this is something that's already over. You have a message. So you have an opportunity that you're refusing to take, even though there's something else that's dead and gone. So you, you're basically doing, you're, you're settling for the, all the wrong reasons. Um, it's like knowing there's, you know, it's just <sighs> attuned to the moon, attuned to the moon. That's like one of the moon cards. Attuned to the moon. That's weird. Attuned to the moon. Did that come out yesterday? Did I give you a moon card? Attuned to the moon. I'm almost positive. I love when I get messages like that. Attuned to the moon. I know that's a card. And what did I do? I pointed to that. What was I just talking about? Special cards. Is it under the special cards? <sighs> Attuned to the moon. I have a card. I'm assuming it's this. With my moon deck. That was so clear. That's your message. Thank you, thank you. Because I wasn't really sure how to explain it again because I feel like they wanted me to explain it again after I just was talking about it yesterday. New moon, 
time to heal adjustments. The new moon is coming. All right. I know I have a card that says it's tuned to the moon. So what the frig else would that be? Would it be one of these? No. This is the moon. Anything here that says attuned to the moon? No, because in this book, see, attune, attune to the moon. That's what it is. They just want me to throw you a card. Okay. And your message is within me. Attune to the moon. Jeez, my goodness. Well, at least I figured it out. Hi, buddy. Hello. Hello, pretty boy. Would you like to say hello? Would you like to say hello? So I was pointing to, that's too many, I was pointing to receive, that's the super moon and a new moon, so I want to see if that comes back on. Hi buddy, nice. this is weird, huh? You're like, I'm on mama's table. Receive please, message received. Message received. What is this received? Oh, something was in there that was flipped. Nothing will come from this situation. That's not like what? Hope that wasn't your message. I mean, it, it could be. It could be because this is, you should not be settling right now. I know it's what's most comfortable. Yeah, there you go, boy. Move. Move, Sheldon. Move. Get people moving. Get people moving, buddy bear. What is this? Attune to the moon, please. You are good enough. All right, he's on my book, baby boy. Go have fun. So maybe you feel inadequate, and that came out the other day. Like you don't feel good enough, and if that the if that's the case, it's telling me you're staying in a situation where you're settling. Like it, it's just it's not good enough. It's it's not good enough for you. Okay, and if it's not good enough for you, it's, it's, it's not good enough for your children or your friends or your family, you know. Um, so I guess this was the message today just to kind of come in and re reiterate, re you know, that word I can't say. You can add it to Courtney's list. So full moon, you are good enough. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, hold on. This is my goodness. This is my dad, and I feel like it's necessary for me to get. Don't ask me why. Did Alana change the Hulu account password? Okay, not really necessary. I don't think so. I was on it the other night. I'll text her right now. My goodness, guys, I'm so sorry. See, that was my dad referring to kids, so I mean, there's a message here for you guys. Grandpa's trying to get into Hulu. Did you change the password? If not, can you just resend what you have, please? Okay. Dad said okay. Lonnie said no. Okay, can you please just resend? I'm working. Can you please try to figure it out? Go in, log out, go back in. It was under your email. Some combination like that you know can't I go on here and do Hulu guys I'm so sorry I don't know why I was you see dad yes you know I was linked 
I don't know why it's having me do this. Maybe you're dealing with children and it's going to give me the most current. Okay, can you just send me your email, please? And what you think the password is. Or can you go in and log out and try to log back in and do that for him, please? Okay. Well, okay, you are good enough. Okay, so why, you know, if this is dad issues, I, I, I will tell you, I will share something extremely personal. Um... It's so personal, I, I don't even want to share it. I, I do, because I just mentioned my daughter, but, you know, sometimes she feels like she's not good enough either, and there's not enough people in her life where I can get, like, really sad. Um, someone here is really sad. Someone broke somebody. Um, you know, and sometimes she can just be like, you know, no one cares about me. I don't have anybody, I, you know, and it's like, I, and your own child says that it's just, it's heart wrenching. Um, and even me growing up, I never really felt like I was good enough or even me as an adult with my parents. Well, if, if this is going to fail or YouTube's going to do this, like, why would you stick with it? But then when I just started my business, they were so proud of me, you know, like, I can't believe you're banking this much money. You're doing it. You created your own business. I'm so proud of you. And then when something doesn't work out, it's, it's like they have no problem coming right back at me and be like, court it. It's not good enough. You need more. You got to think about retirement. I'm definitely the black sheet of the family, guys. Okay. Um, and I'm okay with that. And I would still always be my person. That won't, that won't affect me but I'm also got to that stage where I can do that okay so somebody else is not at that stage or is trying to figure out how to do that because it's it's extremely difficult and this is linked to children or family the way you were raised okay um and spirits like you are <laughs> you are plenty good enough so someone broke you at one point and you know it's that's that's hard so I don't know if it has to do with your children or if it has to do with a father or your current relationship, someone you're choosing, you know, a situation you're choosing to stay in because of something, you know, you think it might be too high for the kids or, you know, it's conditioning. I know my kids would be more beneficial if I moved forward and um, had ro a, a special role model in their life or, you know, so however this resonates with you with that. That is, that is the message. That makes perfect sense. And I was meant to share that with you. Sometimes it's hard sharing that stuff with you guys. It's my own personal stuff. We all have our own personal shit. But it's attuned to the moon. So I, I'm not going to read it all, okay? It's just find the balance between the cosmic and the mundane in your life. You know, so like I said, that's your everyday life. And I just, that was the whole message to this video is, the 43, 44, whatever ends up being, you know, it's all about your lifestyle, you know, who you're surrounding yourself with, what type of energy do you vibe, you vibe with, if you're vibing with a good energy, why would you just say goodbye to it and settle for that, this is literally settling for somebody who makes you feel like you're not good enough, like you can't ever do anything right, and that's heartbreaking, so, this video was more for me to come on and educate you guys. Like, it's okay to feel like that. But you, you have to take what I'm saying to you seriously. Because if you're settling and there's children here or it's just you, it you're not going anywhere. You are going to stay in this situation where you feel like you're not good enough. So basically, you're staying in a situation because somebody broke you where you th think you're not good enough to be in another situation or you're not good enough to have or, um, you know, change your career or not good enough to be an entrepreneur and not good enough to be anything than what you are. Like this, this is what happened to somebody. So you, this is probably something karmic. There's no question. When I had to push through all that, my daughter's dealing with karmic shit when emotions come like, up like that. You know, um, and it's so hard to be like, sometimes you're just having a pity party and I'm telling you why. And it's like, I, I feel like, you know, she's so delicate. I can't even be 
real like that. So this is a very sensitive subject that we are dealing with. Okay. Um, I feel like Counselor Courtney has to kick in because this is something I've experienced. I've experienced that with my ex-husband. I didn't feel like I was good enough for numerous reasons, you know? So... <laughs> This is literally, you know, it's like someone broke you to the point where you feel like you don't deserve more. That's what this is. So I am going to read this even though I wasn't going to. Well, let me ask. Yeah, sign absolutely. This is a time to be really honest with yourself and others. They will understand as you lead and head in a new direction. Have you been humble to the point of being self-effacing, question mark? Humanity is good, and you should go. You can go far with it, too. But drawing this card suggests that you're underrating. You're underrating yourself. You don't, you don't have to be in a flash, just quietly certain. That makes no sense. You don't have to, you don't have to be in a flash, just quietly certain that you are good enough oh okay just it's, it's like telling yourself you're good enough on the other end of the scale you also need to be honest and answer yourself this question have you been too picky you know um are you in need to tell the truth and give truthful answers once you have figured that out it would be easier for you to figure out where to go and where you are your next step should be more obvious so pay attention to the details okay so it's it's owning something here. So like I said, you know better. I said that in the beginning. You know better. But somebody made you feel like you weren't good enough to deserve more or to, to have that type of happiness. There's fear here too, you know, which is normal. I know yesterday I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not taking back my words from yesterday, okay? Um, It's like, I'm not even going to say it's a different type of fear. It's... Well, it is, because the type of fear that I was referring to yesterday was more like somebody that's just like being stubborn and I'm going to stay in my situation because it's more comfortable. This is a different type of fear because somebody broke somebody and made them feel like they're not good enough. That's what this is. Over the years, they have broken you. And, and I don't know if it's like some type of emotional control. You know, you can't do nothing right, but yet you're still choosing to, to stay because it's more comfortable for you and the children, or you're choosing to stay because it's more comfortable for you and something from your past childhood doesn't need to be addressed because it's just easier to just ignore and avoid. I don't really think you have that option with this coming out so clear. It's time to get honest with yourself and others. You know, you got to ask that question. Have you been humble to this point? of being self-effacing. So it's it's basically like you you're not owning your your own truth. It's wearing a mask is what, you know, it's saying. It's also saying humility is good. I said humanity for some reason. So sorry about that. That's why I got pulled back to this. Humility is good but can go too far. And drawing this card suggests you may be underwriting yourself. It's it's you know it's almost like you don't want to humiliate yourself or you don't want someone else to judge you or you don't want to talk about this because it's just uncomfortable. Um, I can feel with this energy there's just a lot a lot going on. I wouldn't even say it's confusion. I think it's more you need to recognize the chaos in your life right now and who's causing it. Is it you? Is it linked to your childhood? Is it linked to somebody you're in a relationship with? Um, what's causing this? Because this is an awful scenario to stay in. You've already outgrown this. You're dealing with somebody who only sh shows love when they need to. You're, you're dealing with an energy here, no matter who this was, man or female, parent, girlfriend, wife, husband, no matter who, didn't make you feel good enough and only gave when they needed to give and then would play takeaway. 
this is not somebody who is consistent with love. You know, and it's hard. I, that's why I think it's it's related to family because that's the hardest type to to break. You know, you don't want somebody to look at you like it's something. And, and then it's like, what if the other situation doesn't work out? Why? You, you can't worry about that. You want to know why you're worried about that? Because someone made you feel like you weren't good enough. It's, it's, it's time to start living your life again. This is what that this message is. It's it's time to start living your life again. If you choose to settle with this, then yes, okay, go ahead. Um, but whatever this is, I mean, it's, you could have missed an opportunity with a very special person. You know, the lovers is someone extremely special. And they feel stabbed in the back from something you did or vice versa. And, and this wouldn't be this energy. This would be a missed opportunity. Nothing's ever missed if it's meant for you. But you can't be stubborn and say to yourself, something's meant for me and it will fall into place when it's meant to. It's a, life doesn't work like that. You have to put things into order. You have to put things into place. If you know how to run a business, you know that's that's how things need to get done. There's there's no time to slack. So when it comes to your personal life, you same thing. You have to put things in order. You can't just, okay, maybe a better timing or when I feel more confident or when I feel like my kids can handle it or when I feel like I can handle it. That doesn't cut it. You won't grow. You won't evolve. Neither will anybody else. That doesn't cut it. You have to put things into order. You missed an opportunity with somebody. And again, it might not necessarily be an opportunity. Stay strong. Okay. It might not necessarily, you know, it could come back around. But it only comes back around when you put effort into it. Effort. It's like, do you feel like it's too hard to put effort into something because you've already done in the past and it let you down? But yet you put more effort into this than to have something pure and true with somebody else. That seems silly. This is like a lot of work. This is emotionally draining. I, I honestly, you know, yeah, see, there was, it's like drop the competition, the mental battle, stop. So you know better. You know that there's still an opportunity. So I hope you're not letting your ego get in the way thinking it's just going to roll back around because that's how people actually lose opportunities. Yeah, see, this is like not wanting to accept. There's, a, there's definitely some stubbornness here. Like you'll win either way. As soon as you get on your boat, you'll go and you can have it back. I, I don't know. I, you know, there's, there's ego. There's something there. There's a blockage. And it could be this person. Or, you know... You're not happy with work, get a new job. Stop dealing with the bullshit. Go plant a new seed. Something healthy, something solid, something beautiful, something bright, something that lasts forever. But yeah, you're choosing. Okay, see, you're over. You're it's, you're upset. You're crying. You're sad. You don't know how to express yourself. You're there's no balance. There's the, you're staying in a situation. There's a masculine. Well, it could be feminine, but it's the King of Cups reversed. Okay, staying in a situation, and it's it's killing you. It's emotionally draining. Be careful who you're putting the blame on. You need a pause. And, and not a break where I don't want to think about anything and blah, 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 blah. No, you straight up need a fucking pause. You need to reevaluate what you're doing right now. You're with an energy that doesn't even love like you love or reciprocates like you reciprocate and it's hard and it's sad and you want out and you want to build elsewhere but you're refusing to do it 
because how somebody else made you feel, whether it was a parent, husband, a wife. In a way, you know, it's like you were dealing with somebody who had a victim mentality and they made you feel like a victim by leaving or settling or you could be dealing with somebody who's got like, I feel like you're not good. I'm not good enough for you. Like somebody mentally and emotionally fucked with you along the way and it stuck because you probably have a heart of gold and this card, this, this type of energy is extremely sensitive. And throughout the years, it was just words are damaging and <clears throat> it's conditioning. It's hard to break. It's hard to let go of cycles and patterns when, you know, someone breaks you like that. So you, you stay busy elsewhere, you know. Um, it's tough, guys. This is, like I said, there's there's no balance. There's no equal love. There's, you know, and you know better. You know you need to stop mentally battling yourself. You, you need to drop you know, your competitive ways, your egos, whatever it is, you need to rebuild and you know it. And you're not doing it. So I don't know what your consequences will be for that, but um, that's why I'm more or less trying to explain to you. Because this, you're, you'll never be happy if you settle. You might be content, but you know better. You just start building yourself up, hang out with people who build you up. It's the same message. You're, you're dealing with a feminine or a masculine that won't give what you give, but you're still settling. You don't want to hurt the person. You don't want to disappoint the person, you know, um, but you're, you're hurting yourself. You're killing yourself slowly. You are. There's no mutual love. There's no reciprocation. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't even know how to nurture your emotions. Keeping you stuck, trapped, you're mentally stuck and trapped because of how someone treated you. God, this is deep. Um, this is like 20 years of my marriage. I can look back and be like certain things were said and it's, it's damaging. And, and, you, and for those who are watching, know exactly what that is and... But yet you're still choosing. You will not have a happy life. And I'm telling you right now, there will be consequences. Because you know better. You know you should be planting a nice solid seed, a new foundation. And if you have a family, that will grow into the ten of pence. You're staying in a situation that's no longer growing. It doesn't feed your soul. It's a big message for you guys today. Um, so again, it was like a tune to the a moon. It was the same message, right? It was like um, in the beginning of the thing with me and the lifestyle. Find the balance between the cosmic and the mordain. The mordain is just your everyday life and what's best for you, your higher self. That's your higher self message received. It's the same exact message. How crazy. Oh, I don't even think it's crazy. This is how things work okay um so all, all I can do is is hope and pray that you take yourself out of this scenario again that I hate to say it that it's going to be consequences because you know you should be going in a new direction you should be building elsewhere and you chose to settle and you'll never get what you want out of this ever you'll never be able to balance this situation out unfortunately the only thing that brings balance and contentment and happiness in your life is going after that. And then you can love, figure things out. You balance, you, you, you have the right balance. You have the yin and the yang. Yeah, the love is there too. Okay, so there's a brand new opportunity here. Work, love. I saw the lovers, you know, I like you. Romance is blooming. It's, it's, this is you knowing better plenty of messages um this is you knowing better and still and, and still choosing to be very unhappy um in a situation and this is probably heartbreaking for you because you had more love than the other person did this this is 
this is a life lesson and this is a, a fucking tough life lesson this is like one of the toughest to put yourself in a brand new situation you know start hanging out with friends move on be happy again <clears throat> get yourself out of this codependent situation and again it's fear of abandonment okay it, it's like wanting to always chase this because it's comfortable and this is something you can always have but it's again it's that little bit of fear that someone instilled in you that you would never be good enough for anybody else and you're dealing with somebody who's going to consistently chase you or consistently let you down consistently say something so so they feel like the victim like you're doing something wrong this is somebody that makes you think you're always doing something wrong it's awful it is awful this is like a whole new lifestyle, a whole new mental mentality. I hope someone special comes into your life, a friend, a co-worker, no matter who, and helps you through this. And I'm glad I had certain friends in my life that helped me through a, a predicament like this because I've, I've been here. I pretty much had to push through myself, but with the lovers and knowing there's a new opportunity, this is saying you have somebody else that completes you and I know that sounds shitty it's like your match I know it sounds so like um what's that movie Jerry Maguire but that's exactly what that is it's solid there's love it's a, it's a soulmate and if you haven't met this person this was somebody that will will come in and try to help you get yourself out of this situation this is a spiritual lesson that and I think you've already learned it but you're still choosing to settle versus you know all the other garbage that comes along with moving forward because somebody like this will make your life miserable for a little while they'll play victim they'll want to come in and give more and make promises and it's fucking tough this person belittled you you have a love call. Someone expresses love, a message, thinking about you, letting you know you have somebody extremely special in your life that knows how to have a solid foundation, knows how to love, especially with the lovers. It could even be a past life connection. You know, um, for those who are in that situation, others of you, you could be on your own and just know you need to move forward. And then that other person will come in. Somebody will always come in and, and have you reflect on you know, the negative aspects of things. Because this is not a scenario you want to stay in. This is somebody who's depleting you. the sucking the life out of you. And you might want to blame it on work or other things. And it, it's not. There's one main culprit here. And it's really you. I don't even want to. It, it really is the other person, but it's really you because you're allowing it. This This person is playing victim. But they're turning you into the... They've given you a victim mentality because you're not good enough. And something that happened with your childhood, it's, it's all linked. It's all linked. So it's like even harder. It's not just one thing, it's multiple things. But you have someone... This is love with conditions... This is unconditional. There is a huge difference in how you want to live out the rest of your life. Heartbroken. Yeah, deeply hurt, sad, separated, grieving. It's Yeah, like I said, this is going to be extremely hard for you. Because this person has etched in your brain certain things. And you showed them more love than they ever showed you. But you also did things in the past. Where is it the other way around? And you have guilt for that. Because you didn't balance the scales when you should have either. This was definitely something karmic. And, and that's okay. You know, um, everyone takes their turn in karmic relationships. Um, who's right and who's wrong. And blame and no blame. And how you want to go about things. But... Um, this is hard and somebody might be really heartbroken over it, but it, it, it's still, that's, that's a given, whether it's you or them. But 
this is not something that's healthy. This is not where you need to be. I, I think this is you more or less being heartbroken, crying, upset, because they you may have you may have had really strong love at once, but that definitely has subsided, and this person that you are grieving over um, has damaged you, and I and I hate to say that, but it, it is it is truth words are damaging family is damaging for instance my own family like I said earlier with the dad like it's it can be damaging it can break your heart I but I just I honestly feel like he or she will be linked to that too but it, to me it's it's really the person that is doing this because you don't want to hurt this person and that's not good you're hurting yourself. I, I hope this is a big message for you. You're damaging yourself, <clears throat> your family. And then I asked for you. Healing from heartache. So, yeah, it's like your heartache too, but freedom from a toxic relationship. So, it's okay to have somebody else in your corner while you while you work through this because this is like a scenario where this takes time. So if you're going to wait for this cycle to complete without starting another one, you're probably going to miss an opportunity because you have somebody that will cl clearly understand what you're going through and have your back because this energy is probably going to tell you you're making the wrong choice there's somebody in your life that would tell you you're not making the right choices which is extremely extremely unfortunate i was just about to wrap this up and it was 40 46 46 so i'm just going to give you this last message and i'm wrapping it up spiritual meaning of 46 46 chilling you're stuck stuck when the four and the six combination repeats in your life indication that's cautioning you, you're focusing on too much of the material world. You may be losing sight of your life purpose or anything else. You may have anxieties and worries that overtake your thoughts. Your angels are here and they're telling you to let go. Sheldon, go that way. I just helped them. <laughs> um, ask your angels to let go. This is like one of these situations where you literally got to give your angels permission, your guides, and say... I'm giving you permission to help me let go of what no longer serves me, okay? These are worries that are hindering the flow of positive energy. And I talked about in the very beginning of the video of the, your lifestyle and your house and the black clouds and even if it was just dandelions, okay? Because um, it's like a big cloud over your head or your house. Angels ask you to surrender your worries to them, okay? On behalf of this situation because it will help ease because this is hard. This is, it works both ways. This is letting go of something that's karmic, but it's heartbreaking. And, and not to mention, it's even worse because you're dealing with somebody who is consistently relying on you <clears throat> and they don't need to. It's just, it's, dang, it's tough. This person purposely makes you feel like they need you. But they're not willing to give give you more. And it, this is heartbreaking. Okay. So again, when it repeats, it's an indication. It's cautioning you. A, you focus on way too much of the material. I don't even know what the fuck that word was. But material world. Okay. And I, and I said that. There needs to be balance. You have to incorporate it. It's not good to just focus on one thing. Because you're losing sight of what is actually damaging you. Okay. You may be losing sight of your, your own purposes, your own what you want in your own life, all because of other people's worries or anxieties that overtake your thoughts. Again, ask your guides to help you through this for those who want to give that a shot. Okay. I wish you I wish you luck. Um I I wish you the best. Okay. Um this is an extremely tough dynamic. And, I, you know, apparently I had to come in and, and talk about it again because when you settle, you know, you're, you're damaging your soul and you're damaging family members, you're damaging friends, co-workers, 
because this is this is for you to realize all the chaos everything that's happening in your life you're blaming it on work or i got too much going on look at karmic relationship you're blaming it on on too many things when there's one person that's the culprit and you have a culprit too because you're settling but again, you do have somebody around you that makes you feel like you're not good enough. No matter what you do, it is never good enough. And and they're trying to keep you in a nice, comfortable spot um, for their own selfish reasons. Because this is somebody who's made you feel like they were the victim of something. And it's fucking wrong. It's awful. Because then they made you feel like you were the victim and you were wrong. it's wrong for you to pick, like, leave this person. No. No, this person does not even give you what you need. This person does not nurture your soul. You are, There's no compatibility here. There was love at one point, but it was more balance, family, work. This isn't a card of love, you know? And don't let other people get you down. I, I can't stress that enough. Rearrange the house. Open the windows. Put flowers in it. Do something. And if it's not that for you, you need to go in and sit down and reevaluate. Because you think you're chaos. You can't do other things in life because of chaos. A, you're not even causing all that chaos. There's somebody else in your life that's making you chaotic. And you don't even see it yet. Once you drop something, your whole life changes. And I'm sure you're aware of that. It's probably scary and somebody else is going to be heartbroken. Yep. Yep. But you know what? This is not where you need to be. This is emotional manipulation. It's whether they're aware they're doing it or not. This is somebody who broke you. And, and not only is it that, this there's something linked to childhood. And other people are not going to like your decisions or something. But you know better. You know better and you're still choosing this. And this is the life you will lead. You will not have, you will have half ass everything the rest of your life. Hey, if that's enough for you. And some of you, it's just work, 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 work. Because that message was you're too busy. You're too busy with material world. Then to be focused on anything else. And you... I don't know, I, I mentioned that earlier. I, I gave that same exact message. Like, you have to create that. Like, if you're just saying, I know this will happen, I know it will pan out, it's just I got to get through my stuff first. No, that doesn't work that way. Because you're not doing anything about this. You're just focused on one thing. You have to put things into order. It's, it's like I said earlier, you're probably prioritizing work and all the other stuff and, and family and this and that, but... You're, you're leaving yourself out of the equation is, is what I'm trying to tell you. And it's it's slowly killing you. It's giving you anxiety, stomach problems. There's ha probably health issues here. And if it is, you don't feel the health issues yet, it's the only right around the corner. I'm not going to lie to you. And your gut, your emotions are stemmed from the moon. The moon rules the stomach. And then it works its way up. Please take care of yourself. Please take yourself out of this scenario. Please know your worth. Please stop holding on to something that has broken you. And I can't... You still have that person that, that's, that plays victim. I can't do it without you. You know, I love you. It just didn't work. We're not compatible. Like, you have somebody who emotionally manipulates you and you don't even see it. Because it's something that happened with your childhood, too. And you just feel like this is the right thing to do. And it is the wrong thing to do. But your gut's telling you it's the wrong thing to do. But yet, you're still mentally doing it. Because this person has you mentally and emotionally trapped. And I, and I know some of you would be like, no way. And others of you would be like, yes, I know. I'm just figuring it out. Somebody here has not figured it out. They know better, but have not figured it out. So I hope this reading helps you. I hope you guys have a kick-ass week. I love you guys.